Hey everybody, welcome back, another week is coming and gone, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, I'll be putting out a couple extra ones this week as we've got the Winter Wedge coming up and we've got New Year's and 2020 is finally coming to an end, so, um, but here's one that's pretty simple that you could probably use for your holiday cheer. Um, Actually, what I've been using for my holiday drink so far is um, the Silver Julep, which is Kate Bolton's uh, pr latest project, was selling um, these syrups. So I uh, bought a couple, and this this one, you laugh, it's kind of my favorite. Uh, this Holiday Punch, there's, there's one that's like an old fashioned style, and there's one that's kind of a you know, gin and lime version, and it, but I was shocked that this was my favorite. And good old Southern Comfort. Um, you know, something about the spices work together, and uh, it's a little more of this, I'd say one and a half to one, put it on some, on some ice and make it easy. These are great. Uh, she does an awesome job. It has a, uh, da, 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 da. Pomegranate juice, cranberries, cane sugar, orange zest, lemon zest, rosemary, and spices. That's way more work than I'm going to do myself. So there you go. Uh, so the other thing I was looking at, I discovered, was um, there's a prohibition drink called the 12 Mile Limit. So if you're not familiar, during prohibition, the old limit where you would be considered not in the United States anymore was five miles offshore. So if you're five miles offshore, you were, I don't know if you're in international waters, but you, you were beyond the jurisdiction of the prohibition so you could drink. But there are so many people taking their boats out and, you know, five miles seems pretty far to me, but apparently that's not that far. And so there were enough um, big parties happening that uh, the Congress had to rush to change the rule to a 12 mile limit. So of course, this spawned a drink that has um, passed the test of time. Um, and it's pretty good. So um, the, the proportions vary. Some of them call for two ounces of rum. I'm gonna go one ounce of rum. And um, rye, but I'm gonna substitute um, just some bourbon. So, you know, I'm making enough changes to it that it's no longer a 12 mile limit. I'm calling it a six foot limit <laughs> in honor of our lovely, lovely year of 2020. So, uh, grenadine, I'd say, um, you know, that's to taste. And then I'm gonna use some apricot brandy instead of um, some apple brandy. Oh, I should use some pear brandy. Oh my gosh, I should use that. Anyway, uh, and then some, and then some lime. Thank you, cameraman. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty strong, but. If you mellow it out with the right name and the lime, it's drinkable. Nice, and it comes out a nice red color. Good, good festive. So, maybe that would be a good one to serve, so. Cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas. See you soon. Oh, and Merry Christmas.